What's up guys, TC here, and welcome back to Starbound Inventions, and today I have a brand new pixel farm variation, and this one is extremely fast, extremely efficient, and extremely simple. Uh, it produces a about 400,000 pixels per hour, and it's a bit of a hybrid, uh, this one here. And so what it works on is a, I'm calling it a lava pool pixel farm, and essentially what's going on here is this is a one block uh, high platform up here with lava on it, and what's odd is that in Glad Giraffe, the current stable, when monsters spawn uh, in lava, they still have their drops, right? So if we run through here, you're going to see there's a bitch load of pixels we're picking up here. Meat, venom samples, matter module components, whatever. As you run through, it's just going to continue to, the monsters are going to continue to spawn, and they're going to continue to pick up their drops. And uh, I have a little platform here from our prior episode of uh, Starbound Inventions, just to kind of speed things up just a little bit. Now down below here, I actually have a cruel creep farm. And this kind of ties in with that, that pixel rate you get per hour. Uh, just this thing on its own uh, gets a little over 200,000, like 240, somewhere in there, uh, just on its own. But then when you add in these uh, coral creep here, which the great thing with these is that uh, they don't have to be tended to. They grow every three minutes. And this one in particular gives me about 360 coral creep per harvest, and they grow every three minutes. Uh, that comes out to around, uh, what is it, 144,000 per uh Per actual hour, I think. So let's sell these right here. This is just one harvest worth. Yeah, so 7,200 off of just one harvest. And as as you know, like while you're selling to that guy, monsters are still up here dying. So it is an insanely fast, insanely uh, insanely powerful farm. And it's uh, honestly, I can't see this making it to the official 1.0, but it is in fact in the current stable. So uh, it's definitely something you guys should. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a while to the next update, so I would probably take advantage of it. Uh, if you want just a more simplistic version. I actually have one over here we're going to go to. This is a smaller version that doesn't have the Coral Creep Farm. Uh, so if you want to make one like this, uh, you could do that as well. And as you'll see here, uh, it generates pretty much just like the other one. And the, what's working here is that monsters don't have anywhere to spawn. I built this extremely high up in a planet's atmosphere. So the only place that monsters can spawn are on these uh, little platforms I have here that have lava and they instantly die. Now, this is done on a, uh, these are done on, like, dangerous level planets. You really can't go any higher, because the higher tier planets, like Extreme, all the monsters are uh, immune to lava. So it doesn't really work. Um, so pretty much this is the best you can get out of it for now. Uh, and all you have to do to build this is pillar up really, really high, like really high, uh, almost to the point where the background changes into space, and then just build you a platform, uh, fill in one layer of the back wall, and then fill it with lava, and then just run back and forth. And that's all you have to do. And like even this one here doesn't. This one here generates uh, 200,000 plus an hour. But the other one with the coral creep built in generates 400,000 an hour. And uh, one thing that's really cool about these is you actually do get uh, action figures from this. So if you're looking to get action figures for these things, you actually can. So just on this one, this is what I get from this farm. I've gotten two Voltip action figures and two Smogling ones. And from my experience, I get about one action figure every 20 minutes. So you know, two to three an hour. Uh, but still, that's a really, really fantastic way to get a hold of these action figures cause, because they're one in a thousand. They're so rare. So it's really, really nice to be able to actually get these things. So uh, anyways, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.